Hi, I'm Brianna. I'm Clarissa. And we are going to show you guys some tips and tricks on how to do your eyes today. So eyeshadow, mascara, eyeliner, the whole nine yards. Yep. Something that's just super simple, fast. You can just either pump it up later on or just do something just if you're gonna go pick up your kids from school or go to the grocery store. Yeah. Okay, so I'm using this brush right here. I like this brush because it's kind of like a universal brush. You can also like blend with it. Mm -hmm. And I'm using this color called Enchanted. It's a really so pretty, pretty like golden mauve yeah. color. And I'm just gonna put this all over my lid just like that. I like that. Isn't it so pretty? And just clean it off a little bit. And then I'm gonna buff out the edges. That's and it, a beautiful color. It's so pretty. Look at that. And I feel like that's a color that a lot of women would like shy away from because it is so, you know, it's it's kind of shimmery, it's pink, and you kind of think like that's an intimidating color, but it goes on really nice. Yeah. Like it, it doesn't look too bold or crazy. I'm going to be using Angelic and it has like a little bit of like, a, it's a little bit more of like a peach mm. and I'm just going to use it right in the corners just to open up that eye just a little bit. That is so pretty. I'm gonna put it right underneath. Actually, I'm gonna probably get a little bit more of that other color. I love that. Yep. So easy too. Super easy. One yeah. brush, two colors. One brush, two colors. Now I'm gonna use Faithful to uh, highlight my brow, right underneath my brow, and set the concealer that yeah. I've used on my eyebrow. And I'm using the same brush, I just turned it right over and just setting that, just like that. So pretty. And these, they're so creamy and there's like no fallout. Nope. Mm -mm. Like it's not even, it's, and it's not. Just, it's just two, what, two, three eyeshadows? Yeah, three eyeshadows. And one brush. Complete look. So simple and easy. So smooth. I love that. And then I'm gonna just go in with that. Lighter. And that lighter color on the inside of the eye like just really opens up your eyes. Makes you look awake. Makes you look awake, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit more of like a neutral eyeshadow. I get this question all the time. People are always wanting tips and tricks on how to just do a basic like neutral brown tone. So I have, this is Cranky. I love this color. It's super, super uh, versatile. I'm gonna take this brush right here. Um, it's more bigger bristled. I love this, it's like a, a, a blender brush. And I always tap it, it's just habit, but it's good to get that extra off. This color is really good for a transitional color too. Yeah. So what she's doing is she's just blending it out and that's just like a basic transition color into whatever else that you're doing. Um, especially with like a smoky eye too, you can mm -hmm. use that as a good transition color. Yeah, so this pretty. is perfect for a smoky eye. Don't you find that it's like goes on really silky and without like that, have you ever done your makeup before or your eyeshadow and it's like choppy? Mm -hmm. But these eyeshadows, they don't do that. Yeah, you don't get like those rigid lines no. or anything. I and they come it. also like shimmery mm -hmm. or matte. Yep. Yeah, this one's a matte. One of the ones I'm gonna be using with this look is a shimmer, but I, I love a matte, a good yeah. matte shadow, I do. Me too. And some women are really scared to try a shimmer um, shadow, but these don't have a lot of uh, pigment, like a lot of texture to them. So they just go on and glide on like silk. They yeah, they do. And then I'm gonna do Faithful. Did see this one? This one's got a little bit of that shimmer to it. I'm gonna put this right in here on the inside, on like my inner lid, and then bring it over to this inner corner. It just brightens up your eyes so yeah. much. It just really like, just opens them, makes you look more awake. I'm a mom, I need to look awake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. And then I love this one for under the brow too. It's perfect for just putting it under your arch and just really giving it a little pop right there. And now then, you have colored eyes, right? Mm -hmm. So do you find yourself like sticking to a specific 
color scheme or how do you, what do you do? Not really. Like I jump all over the place. I love me a good like mauve and purple undertones though because I do have greens in my eyes. So, so just, it like, makes some, yeah, that green pops. Yeah. But I, I'm all over the place. Me too. Yeah. Me too. I like to like tell people to just kind of expand themselves, but there are, right? Like with certain colors, like if you wear, have like blue eyes, having like a green shadow sometimes really makes that mm. pop out. I also like using brown. 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 brown we on said blue. at the same time. I know. Brown on blue. <laughs> brown on blue is like, it just pops. pops. That color pops. Yes. Your eyes will look so good. If you want to make this like a little bit more dramatic and go maybe to like a nighttime look or whatever, then you can go another shade darker with a darker brown. This is clumsy. I'm going to take this guy and just put, a, you can, it's up to you really. If you want a little bit more drama, then you can just put it in the corners. If you want a lot more drama, then you can bring it all the way over. So I'm going to put it in the corners right here. And then I'm just going to blend it on over. And right away you can see like it just automatically creates that depth. That, yeah. Looks great. Oh. And this brush, like, I love this brush. They're so soft. I know. And like a million uses. I could, like, I just did my whole eye with two brushes. <laughs> two brushes and, and three, three colors. colors. Yeah. In like under, under three minutes, under mm -hmm. five minutes. I think that's what I find that sometimes people, um, they just put so much emphasis and overthink it. Mm -hmm. And then they think that the whole process is just going to look like amazing right when they start. And they don't give them, themselves a chance yeah. to really like wait for the finished product yeah. and the finished look. Or they think that they, a lot of women I see don't even really attempt to do much makeup or do eyeshadow because eyeshadow, they think it's going to take forever. Right. I'm like, girl, no. you can do an yep. easy, quick look. In and under 10 under, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so, super easy. I'm going to take this dark color and take these this little thin brush and I'm just going to do a little bit of a powder liner down underneath that. here and it's just going to make that eye pop a little bit more and what it does is it just widens the eye um, so if you find yourself with really small eyes you might want to attempt to do this and it just is going to open up your eyes a lot more yeah looks great yep so pretty love that and then for eyeliner, did you already put your eyeliner on? I didn't no? put eyeliner. I'm just going to keep it. You're going to keep it there? Yeah, I'm just going to keep it there. Okay, I'm going to take it one step further. And I love to put a liner in my waterline on the inside of my eye because it really just like makes your brows look, or your, not your brows, it makes your uh, eyelashes. eyelashes look just fuller, like thicker. It gives you a thicker lash line. So just in here... And I know this can look kind of scary. <laughs> right. Or feel kind of weird the first time. But it's super simple and it just really gives you that pop. And you can do it on the bottom too. And you guys will be able to see the difference. Like she has mascara on right now, right? So yeah. it really like pops out. But once you'll see, you can see the difference of something that I just put on two shadows was no three shadows yeah. and then the mascara does marry it all together it makes it, it looks makes a big difference mm -hmm. so yeah. okay so i have already curled my lashes mm -hmm. and i'm just going to add this volume mascara um normally i'm super picky when it comes to mascara i've right. not been one to really like them um but this is the first one in a very long time that i'm really really crazy about and um I already curled my lashes, so I just start at the base and work my way up. I love their mascaras. That's the volumizing, right? Yes. And then they have the defining. I have the divi defining on. Like, I thought I tried the volumizing, and I thought it was my favorite. And then I tried the defining and fell in love with that one. So I go back and forth, and they have waterproof too. And everybody's, you know, everybody's different because my 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 uh, lashes are a little bit like shorter. Mm -hmm. But this works well, and then you have a little bit longer lashes than I do, and the defining works better for you. Yeah. And when you're doing the mascara, you also want to make sure that you're not pumping it. 
that was like something that I used to do all the time I and know. it dried out everything. It That's probably it why out. I hated mascara. <laughs> it dries it out. I hear that from women all the time. My mascara dried out so quickly and I asked them and sure enough, every time, well, yeah, like I, I pumped to get it out and I, you got to swirl. You got to swirl. Yeah. And I like to use the entire brush. Like I'll use the mm -hmm. tip to get in there and then I'll use this bristle part to really add more product to it. Yeah. And I love doing my bottom lashes. Do you do your bottom oh, lashes? Oh, I do my, of course. I there are to. so many women that don't do their bottom lashes. Yeah, and I, I really encourage them like, hey, give it a shot. Yeah. Because it really opens up that eye. It does, it opens that up. And the, the volumizing has like this big plump um, brush. brush on it, but the defining, it's more of a like rubber uh -huh. bristle and it just, it's insane how different the formula and the brush, like they make all the difference. So there's that. Yeah. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. Amazing. Love it. I love, love our mascara. So let me do the other eye. And your eyebrows are like on point. Thanks girlfriend. <laughs> Is that the waterproof or the regular? I think it's the regular. But I have tried the waterproof and I like it because it doesn't, um, what is that where it gets like gritty and it like mm -hmm. has like Arson fall or that. flakes. It yeah. doesn't flake. Arson flake. And it's not really hard to take off. Have you ever tried to take off yes. waterproof? It's like cement. I know, I know. Ours comes off nice and easily with the makeup remover. The makeup wipes, makeup yeah. remover, it works so well. Yeah. So I just do the ends like this back and forth and just go in from the base and bring it up. And my eyes are gonna start turning red because I just <laughs> touched my eye with the bristle. <laughs> okay. Makes all the difference. Makes all the difference. And I'm all about like lashes and this mascara just works so good. Mm -hmm. Makes them fuller, longer. Yeah. And just on this side, like just seeing the difference with the bottom lash not done and the bottom on that side, I I don't know how women don't do their bottom lashes. You have to give it a try if you've never tried that. Doing that bottom, bottom lash just really, it completes the look. It does. There, my eyes will calm down in, in a minute. Yeah, beautiful. There it is. So you have Brie, Brianna. She has more of a little bit more drama, a little bit of smoky on the side, but mm -hmm. it's such a light color and it goes on so beautifully. Yeah. And just in person, it just looks so good. Yeah. Looks beautiful. Thank yeah. you. you so pink that's popping. Awesome. We're good.